Hey everybody, and here in here with another episode of Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. In the last episode, we got the Alucard items and we made our way up this way, just in the direction of Olrox's quarters. In this episode, we're going to infiltrate the quarters of Olrox, Dracula's most trusted general. Hooray, my memory doesn't suck that much. Let's just freeze this for a sec so we can punch some skeletons as we make it our way up here. Yeah, just look at how fast that shit swings. That has crazy range. It's just a weaker version of Avocard's sword without the teleportation. It has that cool blue flickering flame effect. This is not a spectral sword. Oh wait, that is a spectral sword. No, it's a poltergeist. I was right. That isn't a spectral sword. First things first, we want to go this way. Looks like there's nothing here. Obviously, we can make this way. Backdash all the way over here. And it gets cheese, onyx, and a broadsword. The broadsword is the closest blade you get to the strength of this jewel knuckle for a while. So easy. Money. Money, money, money. Loads of money. Dosh. Now, I don't remember which way is which in Aurox's quarters. I just know you have to go. Hammer! I prefer to take this guy out with magic, because it's easier that way. Like that. Blade is here, too. Both of them are actually pretty weak. He throws his sword, but it can't actually damage you. I think in one of the Castlevania games, his sword toss does deal damage, but it's pretty much negligible when it does. Of course, I might also be completely wrong about that, so don't quote me. Seriously, don't. Another warp room. Just had to step in there so I could register it on my map. That's all there is up here. Fuck! Went through the door again. Step forwards, now back death across the floor. Woo! Love this. Die, Blade. Now see, it's sort of right through. Ha! Ripped him apart. That's a hammer. It cures petrification and it can only be used by the fairy familiar. Whom you might notice is flying around following me right now. She also has a really annoying grating voice that warns you when there's a secret passage around. Now this is all that's in Olrox's quarters for us right now because we can't face down Olrox yet. But we can go this way. This leads to the Colosseum, wherein we obtain the Soul of Bat Relic, or Soul of Mist, one of two. Those are blade soldiers, they charge their swords with bladely energies. See there, the Soul of Mist Relic is on the other side. And you need the Soul of Mist to obtain the Soul of Bat, I got it now. Blade Soldier, this guy is a dick. The Blade Master. I take him out with magic because he is really annoying. And does, as you just saw, he does a ton of damage. My, I need to soul steal him. Hey, HP. These guys have a huge range, but that's about all that's special about them. 
that, and they do deal a decent chunk of damage. As you can see, I'm already back down to 92. I love the music here. I'm just going to shut up for a second so you can listen to it. Isn't that music so good? It's just awesome. Also, I got a really, really good sub-weapon here. This is the best sub-weapon in the game, game I believe. <laughs> you fire a single bolt, and if you, as long as you hold the button down, it shoots bolts of lightning at your enemy. It drains hearts like mad. The only weapon that drains hearts faster is the cross, just because of it uses 100 per use. For good reason, but... It does. Now let's step in here and save, because we haven't done that in a long time. And there is an area in here where I am actually pretty damn likely to die. In an attempt to get a really, really good item. Right here, actually. I think. Yep. This is the room. So steal from them. Fire a bolt here. Fire another pair here. And I did it with no problem. I got a thousand gold! You can regenerate that thousand gold every single time. Now, this, my friends, is the shield rod. I'm actually going to use this as my primary weapon for a while. Because it's so cool. Look at this. That's the attack animation. It fires these! Those, in case you were wondering, are, um, shield additions from Gladius, I believe they're called. Gladius, I believe. Mean. Gladius. They block all projectiles that come at you, and no, the owl isn't a projectile, it's an enemy. Yeah, he cries over his dead owl when you kill him. It's pretty awful, actually. Check this out. Defense! Oh. Kill the owl and he falls down there and cries, and once the owl gets destroyed... He gets really pissed and starts doing a lot more damage. Of course, my defense is so high with this shield booster on. Because that's what the shield rod does. Depending on the shield you have equipped, it gives you a special effect. With the knight shield, it does that. With the leather shield, it does this. Cow, which gives you defense up, but it's much less than the knight shield. This is the Alucard shield, which does this. Nothing! The running joke throughout the game is that the Alucard weapons are horrible ripoffs of yours. As you might notice, when you equip a shield, it increases the damage your shield rod does. So the shield rod is now way stronger than my knuckles were. This is the Gravekeeper. You almost never see this enemy anywhere. He does drop that, though, which is green to you, which is just a healing item that happens to be tea. Yeah, the, that's pretty much all the options. OPTIONS! That's what they're called. Or used for. Is that. These fucks. I hate them. I'm so glad I have defense on now. Now the shield rod is a fantastic weapon if you can keep obtaining new shields. Because your ability to use it is solely dependent on how good the shield you currently have is. Once you get Alucard's shield, uh, it's so OP. Like, you don't even know. This is a much better cloak than the one we have currently. It lowers our luck? 
and our constitution. Yes, but every time we're damaged, we get hearts out of it. <laughs> Love this weapon. This guy actually drops a very, very valuable ring. Yeah, we got a short sword because that was a skeleton soldier. But he only drops it after you've beaten the game. Also, this thing right here, this behemoth dude. He's a boss in tons of Castlevania games. Usually at the start, you have to outrun him, and yeah. This ring, act this cloak actually looks very vampire-y, though. It's cool. Not as good as the other cloak, in my opinion, but my opinion doesn't really matter that much. Cool looking, though. Go through here. Whap, whap some lambs. Whoa, I don't want to drop that. This room is filled with sub-weapons. It's a really cool room. Like, if you ever need one of the basic sub-weapons, you come here. I'm trying to remember what this thing is called, but... I know it starts with an A. I know that, but I cannot remember for the life of me what this sub-weapon is. Hey, another saver. Cool. <laughs> Needed that. Sorry about all the sniffling. I got a stuffy nose a bit. You know, it's summer. Ugh. I honestly thought I had a cold for the longest time until it lasted for several weeks and was only still mildly discomfortable for those entire several weeks. Which leads me to believe that I just have pretty bad allergies. I love that one. Oh, hey, cheesecake. Oh, yeah, you can't use that again. You need to unlock it from an upper floor first. By going this way. Yeah, it's a staircase, but the entire front side of the stairs are all de destroyed, so... It's kinda weird. Wait, soldiers? That's where the Soul of Mist is again, as you can see. And you might notice there is an area we missed. Ha! Ah, missed! <laughs> I'm sorry. That was awful. Now, I honestly have no clue when that defense up goes away. Like, I'm going to use it here. It'll take effects. And my defense stays 18, meaning there's already a defense up going. But I don't know how long it lasts. I, I don't know anything about it. Wait, was that defense up or is that offense up? Let me see here. It's offense! Two. No wonder I'm doing so much damage. But, yeah, I am doing that much damage, but as you can see, unequipping that does severely lower my attack. So it's not just the shield. Now we go this way. Into the darkness. The darkness. We get a library card. And we get a boss battle. Hello, bad voice acting! Open Hell's Gate. Come forth, my servants. Richter's evil. Crush this flea who invades my castle. <laughs> yeah, he's claiming it's his castle. Let's just steal some souls from right here. Minotaurus is what he's called. Bye there. That was easy. It was a Belmont, you were right. Yeah, that is pretty weird, isn't it? That would call it. And that's all we got for this episode. I'll see you guys next time. I must play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Until then, this has been Inurian, signing off.